back to Mitch Gosling TV, second part of our shoulders. So we've just done a few exercises. We're going into the last two exercises. So we're going into a seated upright row and we're going to be using like a swan neck move at the top. So you keep your, your wrist quite supple because you will find it really hard. And as you will see when Andrew goes on, how difficult he finds this. Now, just to give you a heads up, he does terrible form. So try not to do it like this. It does take a bit of practice. When I first started it, I felt my wrists were like in a locked position. They didn't want to be too supple. So for example, if you ever do any clean snatches and stuff like that, it's a very similar movement. You get in the flick of the wrist. You still want to keep the wrist nice and supple. So you can see he doesn't look too good. So if you see a person like this in the gym, you'd think gym jerk. I'm only joking, guys. Um, obviously, he's not done it before, so we're going to give him um, benefit of the doubt, and we're just going to try and work through it. So obviously, we record this live. I can't take him away, train him up on it. So obviously, he'll improve over the weeks because we will be doing these exercises in part of our program. We've got the get huge in four weeks, the arms, but this is also part of my... A regimental program to progress me for my competitions next year and it is about getting some creating the thickness in the shoulders so this is correct form not in a big headed way it is correct form so I really feel it and obviously I've had about three weeks of doing this exercise so uh, and as I'm swinging back I'm actually flexing my tricep so it's a little bit of a momentum movement, but you do need it, but it's smooth. So it's a bit like me doing a snatch to my chest with an Olympic bar. And that's the idea, you want to try and keep the dumbbells straight. So we're just going to reduce Andrew, because that's obviously the best way to go. If you feel that you can't handle the weights, just reduce them. You've got to keep your form. He does not like these, I know he doesn't, because it just doesn't feel right. So. If something doesn't feel right, just you've got to keep giving it a go, you've got to sort of pursue it. But you see the movement I'm trying to get him to do with the wrist, he still doesn't do it. But uh, we'll, we'll keep giving it a go. So that's just like a reverse arm curl now. What does he look like? Okay guys, uh, we'll carry on, uh, like you say, just pay attention to the movement that I'm doing. We'll ignore Andrew. But the same again, we're going to try and do around about 10, 12 reps on this as well, guys. Keep the rep range roughly the same right the way through the workout. Unless I do some great big drop set that I sometimes do, that you'll probably see in some of my videos, but that's normally on legs. They're really hard, mate, because when I first started, I couldn't do them. And then it's like getting supple. They're, they're difficult. Really difficult. Especially if you're getting your shoulder. This is just trying to get into the traps and we take it forward and into the chest. Trying to get that thickness, a bit of volume. But as you see, as I've been training with this a few times, this exercise, it is very fluent now. Okay, so third round. And what I actually do, I think it's a really good thing, it's a really good indicator, is just get the corner of the dumbbell and just touch it into your armpit. So as you can see, I'm kind of I'm just tapping it into my armpit because then I know obviously each time that I'm getting the full range of movement. It's getting a little bit better. And another thing as well is wrists are all over the place. So you can see the dumbbells moving about where mine were quite firm because I do hold the grip and I try and keep the dumbbells quite stiff, as so to speak. Well, I might run a big shrug tonight. Oh, Excellent. It's getting a lot better, definitely getting better. And that's just obviously three sets, so it will improve. As I say, practice makes perfect, so... But like I said, it really is good because it goes to show you that most people out there do have really bad form or what we call motor skills motor skills the way the brain works with the muscles it's not only too good until you obviously keep practicing so we're just setting up now we're going to go into the machine that we used for the front press earlier on in the first part of the shoulder workout and we're going to go into a shrug like dumbbell shrugs 
I'm using this because it's easy to set up. I'm not going to put ridiculous weights on it. Um, and obviously, if you've got someone jumping in with you, you can just switch over rather than take the other weights off. Or I'll try and get them to do some of the weight. So I just lift straight up. Imagine I'm trying to get my shoulders to squeeze. I should try and touch my ears and try and squeeze. Imagine I'm trying to touch my ears. And sometimes I drop my head forward so I can get the traps really squeezing at the top. So it's just straight up and squeeze. Andrew's form is not bad on this at all. So it's just straight up and squeezing into it. We're doing 15 on this, then when we're doing 15, I normally go quite high reps and heavy shrugs. So I normally do do it on the bar, but, um, and then I've just switched around to show you just different angles, different positions. It's just nice to uh, give the body a change. We all like a change, so that does go exactly the same for the body. We can switch it around and shock the body. Good squeeze, man. So we're blasting these out, guys. This is to finish our workout off. Sometimes I might throw in a bit of behind the neck press at the end of it. We'll see how we feel after this. <laughs> so we're uh, almost at the end. So I uh, just want to say, guys, a big thank you again. Um, please comment on my videos what you feel about them. Please give me feedback. I'm very open to feedback, comments. Uh, obviously, it's nice to always get positive comments, but we don't always get them. I'm here to try and help you guys, so uh, we, we've got a lot of haters out there, but obviously at the end of the day, guys, for you guys that appreciate, it really doesn't bother me what people write, so uh, but it's to you guys that are, you know, thanking me, um, it's an honour to be doing this stuff for you guys, so uh, I really enjoy it, and uh, as I said, we'll speak about, we're moving forward in the new 2014, which I'm uh, going to release a video for you guys, and uh, talk all about that, so I won't expose too much at the moment. So finishing off the last set, and as I was saying guys, I just wanted to spend a bit of time on these last sets that we're doing here now, just to thank you guys for following, sharing, and uh, just telling me how much you're getting motivated, it, it really helps to drive me to do these videos. So carry on doing what you're doing guys, and please, any ideas or something you want me to cover, please leave comments on my YouTube, because some of the YouTube stuff I'm starting to give you guys what you really want, okay? So thanks again guys for tuning in and look forward to catching all up with you soon.